familiar face at breakfast for more than a century will soon be a thing of the past. Quaker Oats, which is owned by Pepsi, announcing that they're getting rid of the 130-year-old Aunt Jemima brand, famous for pancake mixes, maple syrup, and other breakfast foods. Aunt Jemima buckwheat pancakes. Mmm, my, they're good. The company says by the end of this year, its packaging will no longer feature the controversial Aunt Jemima image, and soon they will completely change the brand's name altogether. It's time to let go of symbols like this because of how weighted they are and what they represent. Cornell University's Dr. Rache Richardson recently wrote a New York Times article, Can We Please Finally Get Rid of Aunt Jemima? Children, you know, going with their parents to the grocery store can still see images, this retrograde image of black womanhood on store shelves. And it, it was, um, it's an image that harkens back to the antebellum plantation. It's rooted in plantation. Aunt Jemima is that kind of stereotype that is premised on this idea of black inferiority and otherness. Post blasting the images, negative stereotypes flooding social media. Let me fix you some breakfast. Aunt your mama. This video posted Monday, receiving more than 1 million views. Did you know the founder, Chris Rutt, a white man got the name after attending a minstrel show. Think blackface. Not today. Black lives matter people, even over breakfast. In a statement to NBC News, Quaker Oats writing in part, we recognize Aunt Jemima's origins are based on a racial stereotype. While work has been done over the years to update the brand in a manner intended to be appropriate and respectful, we realize those changes are not enough. In the wake of nationwide protests and growing calls for equality, many companies are facing increased scrutiny about similar logos that some find racist and offensive. Professor Richardson says big brands like NASCAR banning the Confederate flag is a good start, but that there is still plenty of work to do. It is urgent to ex expunge our public spaces of a lot of these symbols that, you know, for some people are triggering and, and represent terror and abuse. On Monday, Quaker Oats parent company Pepsi announced a $400 million set of initiatives over five years to lift up black communities and increase black representation at Pepsi. In addition, the company says the Aunt Jemima brand will donate $5 million to create meaningful support and engagement in the black community. Guys? Well, the first Aunt Jemima was a, a woman named Nancy Green, born a slave in 1834, and she was paid and she died in 1890, but led apparently a remarkable life, active in a church, gave a bunch of money to charity, uh, but her family did not see the royalties from, you know, the generations that they used their likeness. Yeah, it's definitely time for that.